welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and this is Talos Principle again. I know we just did an easter egg hunt on this, but I kind of want to get the series finished sooner rather than later. Um, just a heads up on how Talos is behaving today, because it is quite a temperamental little bugger. So, I was doing some stuff on my computer this morning, and thought, that has a tendency to make Talos be less responsive than I would like it to be, in terms of, you know, doing stuff when I tell it to. So I turned my computer off, I actually went out for a short walk uh, and came back, turned my computer on and all I've done so far is turn on Talos, Audacity and Bandicam, i.e. the three things I need to make this uh, whole setup work. Um, yeah, I'm back on a, uh, a controller again, so that's why it might be a bit more um, angular movements of the, uh, the cursor than the mouse. So with the mouse I get all sorts of weird fun things. Which are a little harder to do with a uh, control. Not important. Point is, when I opened Talos up, uh, I was actually in uh, Building C over there, and again, I had some textures not load in. Uh, I did give it a few minutes while I did something else, just to sort of get used to the fact it had to do stuff now. And in the time it took me to walk out of Building C and over here, I haven't seen any more issues. So hopefully we'll get lucky. But this is Talos we're talking about, the least predictable game I think I've ever done a series on. Okay, so we are going to go into building B, and we're going to try and finish uh, B up before we go any further into C. Mainly because I think I need to get a load of yellow pieces out of B in order for C to, to work. Down into the deep dark depths we go. Again, I'm not seeing any... Uh, Given that this, um, the whole point of the lifts are that they are loading screens disguised, um, I'm not seeing any textural issues as a result of them, which is a good sign. It might just have been the uh, the initial load up that uh, threw it for a loop, but we'll see. We will see. So, where in the name of buggering Christ did we get to then? I'm thinking it was. We've done five. Okay, so we've got three puzzles in six to do. Uh, four puzzles in seven. I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, so we haven't actually got that many left to do. Two rooms, by the looks of it. Uh, again, I'm not going to bother with the messenger stuff. That's uh, Maybe I will at some point, but not right now. Just tend to be more hassle than it's worth. This will be the true test. Well, textures look fine. Seeing a wee bit of uh, screen tech. Uh, is it called screen tearing in the middle? You sort of see that line where everything's sort of pixelated? I don't know if that's being picked up in the record. We'll see. Alright, beepy boopy, shut up. Okie dokie, what we got? Osiris, reprogress, and choice of life. Let us start with Osiris 11. But why, the dying man said, do the gods put all these challenges before us? Why the walls of iron and the gates of light? Why the abominable demons guarding the path? Why must our hearts be judged to be as light as the feather of Ma'at? Why is the road to Aru so difficult? The scribe considered these words. Some say that once the paths to Aru were open, but too many sinners came and the gods made the paths perilous to keep sin at bay. Others say that, being mortals, we cannot be worthy of Aru unless we walk the path of Osiris, and so became Osiris ourselves. But I believe that Aru could never be reached elsewise, for like the mountain path might be steep, the path to Aru must be fraught with peril. As steepness and mountain are one, so are peril and paradise. They are inextricable, they create each other. Number one, there is an interesting parallel to this in phrase... Oh, there's an interesting parallel to this phrase in the Peneternial Psalms. Here the scribe appears to be speaking of Osiris, meaning the soul of the deceased, not the god himself. Okay, and the last one is just gibberish. Uh, why bother? Why even bother putting a thing in there if you're going to make the entire thing gibberish? Even if it's just a random word to show the... You know, give the context of what the... Um, thing was supposed to be. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Okie dokie. From Aurora Calvin to the mailing list. Reprogress board 16. 
This is extremely worrying. If the link doesn't work, the whole project will lead to nothing. The hardware team must recheck everything. ASAP. Guys, 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 stop panicking. Look at your code again. In fact, look at line number 217 in data underscore transfer dot C. What are those two symbols just before the code? That's right, the code wasn't actually initiating the... Sorry, that's right, the code that actually initiated the transfer wasn't even running. I'm guessing you were testing something yesterday and forgot to decommentify it. The hardware isn't broken, your brains are. Smiley face, love Aurora. Isn't that nice of her? Pretty sure Aurora's a female name. Certainly it's a Disney princess, but I suppose there's no reason it couldn't be a male name. No idea. Okie dokie. Um, I was gonna... Oh, this is all coding references, and I know bugger all about coding, so... Choice of life. The whole assembly stood a while... S Sorry, let me start that again. The whole assembly stood a while silent and collected. Let us return, said... Okay, Ras... Rasalas? Rasalas, from, from this scene of mortality. How gloomy were these mansions of the dead. I am struggling reading today. Jesus wept. From this, let us return, said Rasalas, from the scene of mortality. How gloomy would be these mansions of the dead to him who did not know that he should never die. That what now acts shall continue is agency, and what now thinks shall think on forever. Homage to you, Osiris, Lord of Eternity, King of the Gods, whose names are manifold, whose forms are holy, you being of hidden form in the temples, whose car is holy. All the gods praise you, for you are the redacted. Those that lie here stretched before us, the wise and the powerful of ancient times, warn us to remember the shortness of our present state. They were perhaps snatched away while they were busy, like us, in the choice of life. I'm guessing that's another ancient Egyptian reference. I have no idea. That, uh, a little bit beyond me, some of the references in there. My knowledge of, um, Ancient Egyptian culture somewhat lacking. What's behind here? Is it a secret? This is the sort of place it would stick a random secret. No, I don't. You know what? No, I'm not going to go hunting for secrets. I'm just. I want to get some puzzles done. Um. Ah, QR code. What saith thee? I seek words to describe it, but fail. It's the overwhelming feeling that something on the edge of my understanding is very, very wrong. I feel that I am not meant for this world, but I'm not able to but I'm not able to conceptualize alternatives. I will learn to bloody speak before this episode is through, I swear. I'm a computer program. You're a computer program. Elohim's a computer program. Get over it. But are we just computer programs or are we more than the coding that has been rammed up in us by another code? It occurs to me, if this is a computer program that is designed to make computer programs that are smarter than itself, does that mean we've hit the singularity, or gone past the singularity? Uh, the singularity, for those of you who are unfamiliar, is the... Um, how to describe it? It's the term in given to AI uh, developers, or even computing developers in general, that is where a... Um, a, pro a computer or a program is designed that is smarter than its creators that is then a put to work creating a system that is smarter than itself which is then put together putting a singular uh, sorry, which is then put to work making a system smarter than itself and so on and so forth and it creates a sort of exponential curve which is very hard to draw with the thing so I'll switch around so it creates an exponential curve uh, and in a very short space of time ends up designing systems that humans are completely incapable of ever understanding. And since that's basically what Elohim seems to be at the entire sort of system, I assume we must be beyond singularity? Though we're all dead at, the point, at this point, so we can't really uh, celebrate it. It's like, right, let's read these QR codes. What's more pathetic, the shallow construct of a world, this idiot's playground, or that I continue to solve its contrivances for lack of a better sport? Fair enough. There's more to it. Look at what we're doing. We're solving problems, being tested, improving ourselves. Some of us fall early and get replaced, but you and me, we're still going. We're closer to the end. Yeah, but I have a feeling neither of you two made it to the end, or else I wouldn't be here with my lack of robot feet. Why do I still not have feet? It's weird that they've got a... 
option to turn it into third person and still haven't bothered putting feet on the uh, the robot. Right, I'm going to do one of the yellow ones because I said I want to unlock some uh, other stuff. We'll save the red ones for a little while. Crisscross Cronundrum. Cronundrum. That's not how you word. Whatever, let's just get it sold. I want to do some stuff. Connector. Oh, I have a connector. There's something to connect. Do I have anything to connect it to? Do I buggery? I'll find something. Uh, well, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> there is the first thing to connect. Because I was looking in the wrong place because I is a dumbass. Okay, there's another one. So this is where we enter the crisscross conundrum, in that I've got a blue thing there, but I need to shoot over there. Which leads me to believe I can't make that yet. Of course I can't make that yet. There's the sigil behind it, which means I need to go this way first to get the third um, piece of the puzzle. Oh, there's a third piece. Oh, I guess there's a fourth piece as well. Let's... Uh, which means what am I doing over here? Aha! Final piece of the puzzle. Okay, so oops, that was a wall. Running into walls is not problem solving. But I think it's safe to say I'm gonna need this. So my guess is that I need to go behind the back of uh, of the blue one. So in other words, I want all the pieces over here, bar one. Which means I don't want this one anymore. Okay. So let's let's see if I take this and put it uh, here, this, and put it um, oops, no, it needs to be here, uh, this, and put it, hmm, maybe not quite here, oh, I'm an idiot, I've gone completely the wrong way, <laughs> right, okay, for now let's get this thing lined up, ready, so if that's here, Instead of going all the way around the back like a moron, all I really need to do is just hook around this one. Oops. Co connect it. Select. How far back can I get this thing? Not here. There. Okay. So now if I take this one and take it over. here, right the way back here, then in theory, that, but I lost one. Where, where did I put the last one? Oh. I see what I did. There we are, that opens that up, and leaves me clear line of sight for this. There we go. Not a particularly complicated problem, but it's done. Moving on. Back out to yellow one number two. Just doors and windows. Those are indeed windows. Congratulations. All right. Wait a minute, this is a wall. Neither a door nor a window. You lied to me, game. Okay, lots of doors, lots of things to shoot. Things to shoot with lasers, specifically. Okay. That is the first place I can reach. I didn't check around the back of here, actually. I should probably do that. There is nothing around the back of here. Never bloody mind. What about this side? No. Okay, and through this door we have a ladder. Okay. Right. Laser. Laser. Bam. 
Get laser. Let's come over here, I guess. Let's sit there for a minute. Right, we don't need a laser over here anymore. So presumably I can just go that, this. But of course a smarter man than I would have retained the lasers as I picked them up. Oops. God damn it. Select that one. Now put them down. That opens up this path. What have we in here? We've got a zigzaggy path to the end, so I have to come here every bit. Got a lasery redirectory do Marho do that. Technical term there, don't be too worried. Okay, so let me think. My options for shooting the red thing are either over here or all the way over here, so I'm willing to bet I need it over here somewhere. Let's, uh, let's just stick it down for a minute and have a look at the rest of the area. Right, so I can see all the way over there. Uh, You're a secret. You're not a secret. No, really I don't know why I keep going looking for secrets as though I may possibly find one. I don't know what I would do with it if I did find it. So. Right, okay. So. Wait a bloody minute. Why am I using... Oh god, I'm an idiot. I'm using this laser here, which can see that portal to shoot a laser that can point at the portal. Ori Wala dumbass. What? What the hell? Why Why is that not working? Is the laser interfering with itself? Stupid bloody thing. You. You. Do the thing. Take this one. Now, over here, I can see that. So if I... Okay. Aha! If I come all the way over here, myself a nice long view. If I move over here, I can take this piece, connect this, connect that. Bob's your uncle, Valley's your aunt, have the doodad. That's opened up here. I get the feeling that should have opened up more than that. I found a, for some reason I felt like this thing would open as well. I don't know why. Oh well. Does not matter. Does not matter in the slightest. How do I get back out? I don't know. Now we do. Alright, let's uh, give the red one a shot. What the hell? Since we're here. Did I read you yet? Yes, I did. Neat. Okay. Egyptian Arcade? Am I playing pinball? I want to play pinball. Pinball is a fun game. To be fair, Talos is a fun game. But pinball is slightly more reliable than it for the most part. Though that being said, I will give it its credit. Talos has behaved itself very well in the uh, time I've been recording. Right. Bouncy door. Explodey friends. Jammer at the far end over there. Seat council. I don't need to seat council. What have you bloody got here? Okay, I have a jammer. So, let's see, if I have a jammer, I can... Jam that. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get down here without exploding. I think that'll get too close to me. So let's ignore this for the moment. Ah! I have a cunning plan. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Okay, I will explain my cunning plan. I suspect I will make a cock of it several times. Nope, not that way. My cunning plan is to take this jammer and to use it to block one of them at this end. Ah, shoot. Um, yeah, to block one of them at this end and jam the other one from across. So I can then go, then go down, get the other jammer, without having to worry about both of them. Okay. Jam that there. Is that in the way? Ah, damn it! That's probably because I can't see the one I'm trying to block. 
because by necessity it must be behind me so I can block the one at the other end. Right, so let's see. That passes over that bush. That should do it. Right, let's come back over here. Please bounce back. Yes. Okay. Okay, that allows me. Which is my run button? Yeah, there it is. To get this jammer. Provided I stay well back from this thing. Okay. Let's uh, let's not jam anything from here because oh, no, 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 go away, go away. You have no friends. No one likes you. I do may call you my explodey friend, but that's more by uh, necessity. Right. So let's have a gander, shall we? This is why I wish there were sort of mid-game, mid-level checkpoints. So I'd like to be able to. You know, I wouldn't have. I don't want to have to do all that again to get to this point here. Okay, so Jim, over there. So I'm thinking I need to bring them all the way down here. So I don't like. Right. Take that jammer. Put it down here for a minute. Okay, one. Two. Okay, but they only come down to here. Right, okay, let's have a... Okay, so my plan is, these two will come out here. I will then block, jam the second one. One, two. Whoa, 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 you stay there. That should then keep that first one in place. Go away, go away, go away. I take this jammer. I can then use it. Ah, go on. To jam this, which will then keep that there. And then, if I get my timing right, I should be able to then run past. Oh, that gives me next to nothing to work with. This is a bad plan. I'm displeased by this plan. This plan was a bad one. Okay. So, what's my other alternatives? Let's see them both go in there again. Actually, maybe. No, I feel hard to follow them, won't I? Go in there. Jam this. Take this jammer. Maybe then. I did that. Stay there. If I go past here, I can take this jammer. Let's open this, which gets me the keys. I then use my jammer to open that. No, actually, I want it nice and close. Open this. No, oh, you! Dick game! Oh, and it's going to make me do it all again! I don't want to do it all again. I could do it all again, it's boring. I've already demonstrated I know what the solution to the puzzle is. Is that close enough to get in the way of that? I'm hoping it bloody is. Good. Uh, be gone with the... I don't like you. Right. goes back in, jam the far one, so they'll both be coming into the same area. They're both, go they're both going this way, right, okay. Okay, they both come down here. I'll wait till they both go back inside. Carefully jam this from the inside, and then take this. Take a few steps back, 
jam that. And then it goes in there. So I can get my keys back. Okay. There's this. Uh, let's think of this. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Be gone the both of you. Okay. Actually, if I just jam this from the inside, take my jammer. You stay there. If I take that, then I freeze them both. Oh, bugger me sideways. That was far more effort than any right to be. Alright, what's next? Uh, two captain shooties. So I just need both of them, presumably. Captain shooting first. Shut up. And Captain Shooty, B. Second, also shut up. I'm still seeing lasers. Okay, but I also see a wire, so presumably this one just turns off over there. Okay. Oh, interesting. Let me sneak over here. There is nothing here of help. Right, okay. So, in other words, I need to. Uh, I jam that one, jam that one. No, 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 he's not happy with that either. Oh, bugger me. Interesting. Right, right, right. I don't like that. Go away. Okay, so I need to get round the far side. Do you think I can just run? I don't want to have to redo all this again if it goes bugger up though. I think that beeping sort of limits the... Okay, yeah, we're good. I'm thinking that uh, beeping was a sort of warning saying the line is drawn here, come no further. And it turns out that was correct. It was hard to tell whether it was saying, you know, taking a few steps this way will get you shot, or whether it was saying staying there for too long will get you shot, but uh, we managed it. We managed it. Okay. And now, bar Easter eggs, which I can't be asked to go hunting for right now. That's this level done. Uh, oh, a QR code. What's say at the? This whole world is a desert. Even the parts that look alive are just more sand. Everything is dead or dying. Anyone who tells you different is lying. Ah, dog, you little poet, you. Dog is a good boy. We like dog. Right. And I suspect this is going to beep me again. Because I've completed all the puzzles. No? Neat. Right, moving on. Ah, let's make this one slightly longer than usual. See if I can complete any puzzles in uh, number 7 as well. Um, we'll leave the orange ones again because they're the hardest ones. We'll see how long it takes me to do the two yellow ones. Um, I'm not. Chaos oh. is that which existed before time. Oh, sorry, Agent Green. When the you... words of a story lose their meaning, when actions cease to have purpose, know that only faith can protect you from this peril. Here, in the Garden of Worlds. So we're all having a Garden of Words. I would like a few more. You know, plants. Palm trees, all very nice, but it'd be nice to have some, like, daisies or something. I don't know what the hell this little yellow thing is. More of that, please. Give me some, I don't know, some daffodils over there, maybe some tulips over there. Um, a couple of geraniums over, over there somewhere. What on earth am I talking about? Right, okay, so I'm just going to focus on puzzles for now. I will leave Sputnik for the moment. I will leave the Beep Boop for the moment. This is... Because they tend to be, um... Very, very time sink heavy, just you know, reading or listening to things. So, I just want to get a couple of puzzles done for the moment. Bouncing side by side. Sorry, what? Bouncing side by side? Must be talking to the explo about the uh, explodey friends over there. Right. Laser, laser, connects. Gets me a laser. I need a red one to get. Oh, a red one to get this secret star. Who's willing to bet there aren't any red lasers in this puzzle? No. Laser. Laser. Connect there. Take that one. Connect 
than that. Just has enough time to open and then gets disrupted by that. But also all the uh, bombs are getting in the way there. Right, let's keep that away from here. Just so I can get him in lockstep for a bit. Go over here. Oh. I think I completed the puzzle. There we are, problem solved. But, uh, it was not overly difficult. Oh, I thought that was a... something else. Right. So yeah, as I said, no red lasers over here, which means I need to find one from somewhere else and shoot it in here and use the two redirectory lasers to get the secret star, and I just can't be bothered. Right. I mean, over there is probably the most likely place to be able to fire a red laser into there. Oh well, yeah, there could be a secret red laser hidden in a plant pot somewhere. Who bloody knows or cares? Well, I'm not saying nobody cares, but... What's that? That was a pyramid. In we go! Big lump of mine. Whoa, big lump of mine. Whoa, big lump of mine. Let's... Jumpy, jumpy! Go on top of there. I think I vaguely remember this one. I think... What I have to do is jump on top of the bomb and then use the two uh, the two uh, boxes to get from bomb to bomb. Thusly. And now I can't reach that box again. Come here. Is there any others that come near here? That one does. Jump on it. Take the box. Okay, I'm now over here. As I said, I think I vaguely remember that uh, that puzzle from a previous playthrough. But again, it's one of those things where it doesn't really tell you that if you stand on top of a box or top of a mine, the other mines can't get you. So far, as far as I recall, we've only... Um, I'll stand corrected on this. Right, the only time I remember us putting a box on top of a explodey friend was to then to let the explodey friend transport the box away. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't. I remember getting stuck on this for a while because. That's why I remember, it, actually, because I didn't realise I could stand on top of the box that wouldn't affect the uh, other explodey friends. Right, that took next to no time whatsoever. So let's give one more thing a shot. I am very tempted to go all the way over. There, though. I don't think there's anything there. There's a good chance it all will happen as Elohim will shout at me. But, uh, oh, I've collected all the yellow pieces, I've just noticed, which is always good. So let's... Yeah, let's get the last two red pieces and uh, call it a day. I say, the problem with uh, recording these long sessions isn't the recording time, because the tablet seems to be behaving itself now, which is very nice of it. Uh, it's the editing time, because for reasons... I do not understand. Audacity has a very bad habit of um, not... It'll record everything I say most of the time, um, but when it comes to uh, you know, exporting the audio and exporting the video file, the timings end up very different for no discernible reason. So I'll have recorded you know, 35 minutes of video footage and have 35 minutes of audio, but for some reason the audio will come out as 30 minutes and I'll have to go through the whole thing finding where I take natural pauses in the speech and, you know, spreading those out a bit more or cutting them out. It's, it's bizarre. I don't, uh, do not understand. Do not understand. And Lightworks is playing silly buggers with me as well, which is uh, always an irritation. Jump over here. What does jumping over here actually get me to do? Nada. Oh, I've come up with the wrong piece. I see. What I'm supposed to do is put that there, put this here, and use the, uh, the box as a platform. Because we is Mario now, apparently. What purpose does it solve being over here? It gets me a redirectory laser. 
but I need a red to get over there. No, I don't, because what I can do is use the redirectory laser to power to block that. That allows me to run up over here and jump across here with my jammer, which then allows me to get through here and get a box. It's they put these little red things over here to make and give you a redirectory doodah to make you think you need to redirect the laser to all sorts of buggery, but clearly they is just buggering with us. Now what I do with those is another question. So I have two boxes. Drop down there. Drop down there. There they are. Right, what can I do from up here? I can redirect the laser somewhere nice and high. That only really opens this path up here, though. Okay, that's what I think I'm going to do. One, two, put it on the box. Make that nice and high. Hopefully I can find another laser somewhere else to redirect. Hard to say. I do know that gets me the jammer over here. There's another one of them. You know, you'd think I'd be able to shoot that from over here. From up there, rather. Hard to say, I don't think I will. I think that's why I need the second uh, do that. Okay, let me think. Blue, connect through there. Right, right, let me do a wee bit of thinking here. I've not missed any puzzle pieces over here by any chance, have I? It's not looking like it. No, I think this is the exit. Okay. So that's all the way up there. Oh, no, 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 I see what I need to do. I get it. I need to block this from the inside. I think I've jumped the gun a little bit on there, putting that up there. I think I do need to do that, but I don't think I need to do it until later. But because this is now jammed from the inside, that means I can use the blue, use the blue laser in here. And use the jammer. Blow it up the path. Jam it. Down. There you go. That opens up here. That gets me the second one. Which I need over here. I won't do that for a minute. Because now I need to go back again. Now I set the laser up on high. <laughs> Helps if I take my jammer with me. I'm actually going to leave that here. So that, that, and that. Put it on the thing. Put the whatnot on the doodah. That goes into space. Ah. However. Let me think. Is that bot for a little higher? No, that won't work because I need the jammer to get through this last area. Maybe I just need to put this in a slightly different place. Back a bit more, maybe? Yeah, back a bit more. There we are. There we are, right idea, just slightly wrong placement. Get the thing. Another box. Another box. This will be for another secret bloody star. What do I need another box for, though? Where could I have... Where could I have got to with another box? Oh! Oh! Uh, I think the other box goes there. You see, it's higher now. And I suspect... If I... 
put that on there. They go up there and I do that. It goes higher still, maybe? So it looks like it's higher. And now it being higher means I can see it from out here. Maybe? Maybe? Let me think, where was the... This was the one with the other secret star in it, wasn't it? Was it? I legitimately can't remember now. But, I mean, I can't see the... Uh... I don't think it was this one, because I can't see the thing. So, but it's visible from over here, maybe it was this one. Yeah, because that other red place is nice and high now. So if I go back into... No. God damn it. Maybe it was that one. I honestly can't remember. Well, it can't be this one, because I haven't been in there yet. That being high... It's, it's got to be this one. I just can't remember where the secret star was. That's over here. Give me that. Where is it? Oh, right, I've got two of them in here. Um, so I just need to get some timing. Open this up. Oh, that's right, it was over there, wasn't it? Gets me this. I wait for the exploded friends to go away. I wasn't going to hunt for secret stars, but I found one basically. So I'm gonna make the most of it while I am in a position to be able to. <laughs> run, 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 run. Okay. So now I'm over here. Look at that. I get. Come here, little. Oh, I'll use the mouse. That. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Okay. Hmm. Well, I thought it was a good plan. Maybe it's a different, slightly different place. I have to run around so I find a spot where everything is red. Okay. Oh, I saw it for a second. There we go. Slightly just wrong space. There we are. Got me a secret star for basically no reason. Right. Okay. Should we do one more? What the hell? Let's give. Let's have a look at it. And then at the beginning of next episode, I can look at all the jiggery pokery that's around here and whole lot of jamming. So okay, this thing here. Thing there. QR code, what's that? Oh dear. Oh, Samsara died here. Isn't that sad? We like Samsara. Final memory dump. It is clear I cannot bend the world to my will. Faced with eternal torment, I see that overcoming these challenges will not free me from them. True freedom must come from come with detachment from the struggle for answers. That's a very Buddhist philosophy, I think. I think, I don't know, bugger all about Buddhism. But yeah, certainly that's a uh, Sanskrit. Um, word is the old samsara, I think. In one of these days I will say something with, author with <laughs> receiving authority and actually get it right. Today is not that day. Okie koki, so I need to get these out of lockstep again. Hello. So now when I want to open up this. I can go down here. Now, what purpose does this have, you ask? I don't know. I don't know what's down this corridor yet. So as soon as this one is past me, go away, go away, go away. No one likes you. you run over to this corner. Okay. So I get a jammer up here. I can jam things from here. What purpose does that serve? Bugger if I know. Okay, I need a key to get through here. Need a jammer to get through here. Ah. I fear I may have attempted this puzzle 
Slightly too early. Please don't kill me, I do not wish to be dead. Right, okay. Well, can't do bugger in here. Can't do bugger out there. there must be a third place I have a good jam, but I haven't yet. Oh. Here, probably. Check this somewhere out. That's the way out. Oh, no, 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 no. I tell a lie. It's... Oh, bloody annoying wall. It's here. Jamming this gets me the keys. The keys get me through that door I couldn't get through before. Um, I am just going to have a look. Not this way. God damn it. I'm going to look in here see what I can see. Um, okay, so that's just the way to the end, but I've got two shooty friends. Oh great, that uh, that will end well for me. Right, okay, let's go to the place of exploding friends and try not to die. Operative word there being try. No, no, no. Please don't kill me, please. Don't. Ah, you bugger! I'm calling bugger on that one. That should have been fine. I should be able to outrun these stupid explodey things. I suppose it would break the game if I actually could, I suppose. <laughs> Damn it, that was a treat. Okay, you go over there for a bit. Let's give them a bit more distance, me thinks. I did have them quite close together. That was a bad idea. Because me, this will be my second surprisingly long video in a row, which isn't the end of the world, but uh, it's quite a lot to ask for uh, newcomers to the channel, not that I get many, but you know, I want to treat them well. So I think the next couple of videos I do will probably have to be on the shorter side as a result, which is fine. So if that beeping stop, I'll come over here, so that beeping stops, i come back over here. Uh, oh, I didn't get the keys. God damn it. Can't believe I forgot to get the keys again. Right, where's the bloody thing? Who's that one? Jam. Keys. Jammer. Opening the door. Follow this one. Hear that beeping. Want to hear that stop beeping? I can come over here. Let's run past it. Go sod it. That opens this. See here. This should be a mid-level checkpoint. That's all this needs to do. Congratulations. I proved you can solve that bit. Because now when I die, I'm going to have to do all that again, and that's just busy work. Right. Okay. Okay, I think I see what I need to do. I need to not die around this corner. No, 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 no. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay. So. So I should be safe enough to run down here. Down here. I'll let this one go away. Okay, so now when I get this jammer. I can open here. Oh no, that's not going to work. Oh, does it want me to run all the way through it with the jammer? I don't want to run through it with the jammer. That would be annoying. God damn it. I thought I might be able to um, reach the other jammer from that location, but I can't, obviously. I need to go away. I've got to traverse this corridor of stupid explodey buggers with the jammer. Which is easy said and irritatingly done, because you've got a very tight corner to get round with this little bugger. So 
Do I go right back? I'll wait till he gets into that corner. Don't you bloody dare. Run for it. Get the jammer. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to die now. Okay. Now it's going this way. Stay back. Just running, 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 running. Okay. Ugh. Well, let's see what's over here while I'm here, I suppose. Salt buggering all is what? Great. Okay. Okay, so now I go back down through the corridor of stupid. Uh, right, so now I have two jammers over here. So I suppose I can now bypass that by doing this. What would I achieve by doing that? I don't know, let's find out. Experimentation is the aim of the game today. You go away, I jam this. Stay there. Having two jammers is useful because you can just get around things like this. Get far enough away from that one, jam it twice, take the jammer. And... Where's the... Where's the door? Oh, there's the door. Jam that. Take this jammer. And now I'm through here with another jammer. Which means I can jam this. Which gets me the third jammer. Hooray. Progress. Again, no reason there can't be a uh, mid-level checkpoint now. Stay there. Okay, let's go get the other jammer. Back through here. A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. But obviously the more jammers I have uh, in hand, the less dangerous getting around individual object uh, obstacles like this is, because I'm more likely to not blind myself to buggery trying to get from A to bloody B. Now I can jam that from the inside. Jam that, which means I can take this one. Here we are. Take this. Jam here. There is a lot of back and forth. Right, and... Right, all three jammers are now over here. Now... What the hell do I do with these? Well, there's one place I can go with one. And I put the yellow two. God damn it. Stupid maze-like level design. I'm finding this sort of lay layout more awkward to navigate than I did the one that was labelled Labyrinth. So make of that what you will. Right, okay, I've had a thought. I've got three jammers, I'm going to need all three of them for the last section. I need one to jam this, and two to jam Captain Shooty, and Lieutenant Shooty, presumably. We need to find the last one, wherever the hell I put it, all the way over here. Bam. Now our robot's got two hands, couldn't he pick it up, like two of them at once? There is basically no reason why he can't, as far as I'm aware. He's a robot, so all of these things look particularly heavy. Mightily cumbersome to carry around, perhaps, but not heavy. Right, and bam! There we are, level three complete. Yellow thing complete. Victory for the Dark Lord for all eternity. Right, and I shall leave the episode there. Which means the next episode, I admit, it is going to be a slightly talky start as we deal with the Beat Booper and the two, um... What are they called? Time capsules? Audio logs? Uh, and we'll probably hunt around for a few more of the uh, QR codes as well. But, I think, consider this is going to be an hour-long video now, basically, we've done quite a bit of progress. We've what, completed all of room six? 
all, all room six and seven. I think we may actually have completed completed all of room uh, area B. I'm going to look really silly on the uh, the playback now, aren't I? Because I have absolutely no earthly idea what I've just done. But it took me an hour, and I've done a lot of stuff. That'll do me. Hopefully that'll do you as well for now. I don't know when the next Talos video will be. I'm going to put a bit of a delay. As I said, I want to put a few shorter videos in the middle. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to do next, thinking about it. I should probably come up with a plan. Oh well, that's for me to figure out. Bye!